There's a lot of things going on behind the scenes. We could call it in a way hidden agendas about this great awakening that's happening right now. I want to share with you my perspective about this, things that may completely change the way you look into the outer world, the way you see what's happening right now, and that open up a whole new possibility for what's really going on. Welcome back to another video. My name's Aaron. I help people expand their consciousness. Now in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you something that's going to be a little bit more of one of those deeper rabbit hole type issues, uh, videos that I've been making. I've made a couple videos now that talk about what is called the Great Awakening, which is something that I believe is happening right now. And there's many different dynamics going on that once you start to become aware of these patterns, everything that's happening in the world, everything with the media, everything with the fear that you see, it starts to look completely different when you start having and, and seeing it from these other perspectives. And in this video, the one thing I wanna say is that the main thing I encourage you to do is to do your own research, to go within yourself and to see what resonates. I'm not here to say that I'm expert at all this. However, since 2012, I went through my awakening. I learned about a lot of these things that I'll be sharing with you, but I kind of put it in the background because to be honest with you, some of it's pretty dark. Like some of the things that I'm gonna share with you in this video are a little bit dark and a little bit hard to believe. And I think sometimes with this, sometimes truth and what's actually going on in the world may be a little bit stranger than actual fiction <laughs> is, is, is pretty crazy. Um, however, I've kept getting it. There's actually a story. I met my buddy house's uh, Drew, a buddy of mine. I'm at his house in uh, San Diego right now. And there's, you know, all this stuff going on. And uh, he had somebody here yesterday. There's a story I want to share with you that kind of reaffirms some of what I'm going to be sharing with you today. Uh, but I have to give it a little bit of groundwork before I share that with you. Otherwise, it won't. None of this will make sense. But in general, here's what's happening on the planet, in my opinion, from my own research. And what I encourage you to do is do your own research. But right now on the planet, what is happening is the vibration is increasing. Now, what's happening is normally there are people, I believe, we call them elite people that have kept people, the masses, in a level of fear and anger for a very long period of time. Now, when people are in fear and anger with the media, with everything that's going on in the outer world, what happens is when people are in fear or anger, they are much easier to control and they are more likely to look for certainty to authority. So they're more likely to look to be told, to being told what to do for safety. So the idea is for for a very long time on the planet, there's been a desire to keep people in a fear and anger-like mentality because when they're there, they're much easier able to be controlled. So as that scale of consciousness that you've seen me share in many videos before, it's called the levels of consciousness. We have at the bottom, shame, fear, guilt, anger, neutrality, reason, love, joy, peace, enlightenment. What happens is the more we raise our vibration as a collective, the more aware we become and the more powerful we are. Now what's happening right now on the planet is so many people are waking up. The vibration is increasing so much that the people that want to remain in power and to be doing the things behind the scenes that they've been doing for a long time, they are having to pull through these these scenarios they're having to pull their last cards and doing things that affect the collective to keep the collective back into this kind of dumbed down anger fear state so when we talk about that of what's happening in the world there are a lot of things that are actually maybe do your own research with this but i believe there are a lot of things that are actually orchestrated to look a certain way because when people are in those fearful states they're much easier able to be controlled so Let's just start off with, first off, first thing I want to say is that the six main, the, the media, what we call the different media stations, any of them, six major corporations own all of the media. So first off, you may notice that the media, 99.9% .9 of anything you have ever seen on the media ever has most likely been completely negative, fearful from something that's come, happening in a very small part of the world. and. It's, uh, it's just always been that way, but we're so used to it that we don't question it. It's like, oh, this is just the way it is. <laughs> they just naturally have things that are negative. That's just, that's what's out there in the world. And then we see these things on the, on the news and we assume this is the way the world is. There's something to be fearful. Even though for years it was showing what's happened in the Middle East and stuff like that. And it's, it, it, it's not something that's happening outside our front door, but yet we think that that's, it's, we need to be fearful like that. So the first thing I want to say is that now, 
the way that this system of people work, and like I said, do your own research with that, but there are what we call elite people that work behind the scenes, and these elite people also have certain celebrities that they are connected to, and I know this sounds out there to a lot of people listening right now, but I promise you, I wouldn't be sharing this if I didn't think it was really going on. Trust me. Um, it sounds like a conspiracy theory, but these things are becoming shown more and more. There's more and more evidence as, it, as time goes on. Now, these elite people who are very, very wealthy, who have a lot of power, uh, what they've done is, in a way, they orchestrate certain events out in the mass consciousness, certain events that then keep people in fear. Now, what, one thing that they do though, is they use this system to where what they do is they think to themselves, well, what could we do to get a mass amount of people to agree to have in some form of vaccination? What is one thing that we could do? Well, if we were to, if a lot of people were to be in fear, what would happen is then they'd be more likely to agree to something if it meant safety for other people. So what if there was this thing that we that was unleashed into the world that then got people into a, a big state of fear and then they were quarantined into their houses and they couldn't leave their houses and they, they craved safety, they'd be more likely and open to doing something like vaccinations. Now, it's a very interesting idea. But the, the idea is problem and then solution. So the problem is now everyone's afraid to even go outside. People are afraid. Oh, what is the solution? The solution is, hmm, Bill Gates? Bill Gates has all these, these billions of dollars and these great, amazing vaccines? But what's really going on and what a lot of people may not know is that these vaccines wouldn't be actually very, wouldn't be positive things. They wouldn't actually be things that, that really help people. What Bill Gates is doing is he's a part of some type of agenda with these vaccinations. Maybe he's in too deep and there's not a way he can get out of it, but these vaccines would have different type of technology in it, would have different types of things in it to where when they went into our bodies or into people's bodies, it had a certain effect on their consciousness. And then it kept people more in these states. So one of the reasons they're pulling out cards like this right now is because the consciousness of the planet is continuing to raise and it's like, what can we do? What can we do to get people back into this state, into the fearful state? Because in those fearful negative states, they're more unaware and they're much easier to control, which means that you can do a lot of things behind the scenes. It means that you can, um, you can get away with a lot more. So I believe personally from the research that I've done that what Bill Gates is doing is he's not some good guy that's just some computer guy that's now into vaccinations. I believe that there's more going on behind the scenes than we're aware of, but like I said, do your own research with this. But from what I've seen, that's he's a part of this, um, of this, this same thing. So when we talk about elite takedown as well, now there is this um, thing that's been going on when it talks about like the, the whole dark stuff that's been coming out with Hollywood and stuff like that as well. Part of this also has to do, I've been hearing this for a while, and it's not that I didn't believe it, I did, I've, I've heard of this, it's just so hard to believe, but there's been this, um, you know, it's actually pretty sad what's happening with some of these elite people when it comes to these children. Many of these children may, I'll tell you a story about this as well, so it sounds crazy, but there are many kids that may be in underground facilities that are kept there against their will, that are used for their energy in a way because their energy is so pure and their energy is so potent that their energy is used in some of these elite people's uh, own favor. I'll just say that. Now, that sounds pretty out there and I understand that. However, there's many people that have talked about this. One of the things though that happened yesterday is I come to my buddy Drew's house. There is a lady there who, um, who is going around the house and she's like doing things with electricity, with EMFs, and she's like helping to kind of facilitate his house to make sure that it's, it's best for, for ener you know, energy for uh, reducing EMF. She says that this interesting thing happened. She knows somebody that is a nurse and sh this nurse says that right now there are, they have extracted, somebody has extracted over 1,200 kids from, under, from an underground facility, some to underground base, and these 1,200 kids are now being treated in some type of hospital. So these kids were freed from some type of underground, underground structure that were kept against their will, and right now they're being treated. Now, that's what I was, that's what I was hearing for a long time. 
But now there's somebody that I've actually met that says that she knows somebody where that's the case and it lines up perfectly from what I've been hearing. There's also many people in the army, or not, not even just in the army, but the Marines, different government factions that have said that they've been training for the last year, for the last couple of years to invade underground facilities to do something for some type of operation. Now I believe what may be happening is there are certain factions at play that are going in to extract these kids from these underground facilities to save them. That's what I believe may be happening, but like I said, do your own research on this. And part of that though is the elite, you know, this, um, this, well right now what's happening is a lot of shadows, a lot of things that are in the collective consciousness are coming to the surface. And when we talk about this, it has to do with understanding that there's different elements at play. A lot of these elite people that have power for a long time, I believe, are going to begin losing their power. I believe it's happening right now. There's this, there's different factions of what we could call light and dark, and there's many different in-betweens. This isn't just good and bad, but there's very, very uh, negative elite people that have done very negative things that have gone under the radar, that have had a lot of power for a long time. And then there are certain people that are going to remove that power and that are going to um, to kind of free, you know, free these kids and stuff like that. I believe that is going on behind the scenes. And I know a lot of this stuff sounds crazy. You really have to do your own research on this. Um, just kind of, just kind of look it up. Uh, there is, um, yeah, there's different, there's different sources to find. You just kind of different, um, there's something called Fall Cabal on YouTube kind of dark honestly a lot of this stuff's pretty dark so I don't necessarily recommend going and getting too sucked into it because it will suck you in but in general I just kind of want to share that I think there's a lot more going on than we know you know even when we talk about what's going on right now there's been stuff that's come out that has said you know there's um, certain media that got caught putting and using photos from an, an Italian hospital in their newspaper saying, look how packed it is, look how much, look how much is going on in the world, look at these hospitals, they're so full. When in actuality, uh, there's also people that have been quoted for breaking into hospitals that are completely empty. Nobody is in there at all. But what they're doing is they're packing a lot of people into a certain hospital so that it looks way worse than it actually is. There's also people that have had people they know pass away that did not have what's going on right now in the world but yet they were marked as having what's going on. I can't, if I say the word on YouTube, it doesn't, <laughs> doesn't help, so I don't say it. Um, but I think numbers have been inflated. I think that a lot of things are being exaggerated. Um, it's being shown, it's being proven. What is there to hide? What is there, why, why is that happening? Well, the more, the worse it looks, the more fear people are in. Now, everything, I think that eventually there'll also be a uh, financial system reboot eventually as well. Um, Part of the Great Awakening is knowing that a lot of these negative things that are happening in the world, it's coming up to the surface to be cleared. Now, the most powerful thing that you can do is to focus on you and to raise your own vibration, to meditate, to observe, to have neutrality with this, to be able to observe your thoughts, observe what's happening in the world, and to focus on your own vibration. Now, if you go down the rabbit hole and study some of this for a while, that's cool, but I recommend not getting too tied up with it because if you get too tied up with it, you'll find it has an effect on your on your vibration, on your consciousness. I have to do it in like small doses. Like, um, but I think that what's going on in the world right now, there's more going on than we can than we know. And um, the thing that we can do is raise our vibration. The way that we raise our vibration is by letting go of what no longer serves. Changing up our diet is something that's very powerful to do right now, to focus on connecting to your heart. You know, we've done some uh, very powerful live meditations. There's over a million people live all around the world doing a global meditation on April 4th. And I think we should continue to do this. There's these elite people, they use a lot of what's called dark magic. They use, we call it dark magic, it's very esoteric stuff, but what they do is they put very negative things into the collective consciousness. That's why it's been controlled by Hollywood for a long time, because you put out these movies that have people feel a certain way and all these negative things happen in the world and almost in a way makes it easier for those to be facilitated. But what's happening right now and what they do with those kids is very dark because it's also something that they use in a way to, to keep the vibration of the planet low, plus using their energy. Um, it's very dark stuff. On the other side of that is us, and what we can do is use very positive things. We did a meditation where we saw positive, optimal timelines on Earth, and we connected to our heart, and we sent energy out to all those affected, and it's something that um, I think is, a, is, is the most powerful thing that we can do right now. So I want to as well, 
uh, do more of those. Let me know below if you'd like to do more of those global, those live meditations. And I'm thinking of getting, you know, I, I've talked to Victor and Lior and other YouTubers. What if we were all doing it at the same time again? We'd be creating a powerful change. When we did that live meditation, the Schumann resonance went from uh, to an astounding number, an unprecedented amount because so many people were doing that meditation. Not just from my channel, but from many different channels all over the world. And uh, that's the kind of effect we can have in a positive way of going on positive timelines. The intention of what's going on in the world was actually supposed to be way worse. But what happens, I think we're on a better timeline. And we're doing the inner work. And the best thing we can do is raise our vibration, feeling the love inside of our own heart, doing our own shadow work, letting go of it, forgiving ourselves, forgiving other people. All the drama that's happening in the world right now is actually very positive, I think. This is a very good thing. We're becoming more aware of our power. We're taking it back by even just being aware of it. So the Great Awakening is this elevation of consciousness that's happening on the planet. Certain people may try to stop it, but understand what we can do is remain in our power, not give away our power, not... You know, they are so, so, so outnumbered. Yet for some reason, we, we agree to things. You know, we're in our houses right now because we agree to everything that's being projected. So I'm not saying the, the, the answer is for us to leave necessarily, but what I'm saying is if we question our reality, that's where we start to take our power back. If we become aware of our thoughts, if we become aware of what we think, if we become aware of our feelings, and we start to let negative things go, we we'll find that then we begin to raise our vibration. So the best thing we can do is to do our own shadow work, to raise our own vibration. If you go down this rabbit hole, you can go down it, but be aware that it may actually lower your vibe for a little bit. And then when you're done focusing on it, then get right back into being in your own power. So let me know if you want more videos like this. And uh, let me know as well if you want to do more of those live meditations. Other than that, I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, peace, much love, and namaste.